Well, right now we're going to uh, go to that concert, Mississippi John Hurt, recorded in 1966 in Philadelphia at Central High School in front of a large group of uh, high school students, and many of those people in the audience were members of the Central High School Folk Music Club. Um, here's Mississippi John Hurt. Are we ready? In concert. Get ready and then go on. John, you're on. Good evening, everybody. With y'all, glad to be with you. So, hope I can entertain you nice. Hope I can. Near my heart. Baby, tell me, 
says on the can, good to the last drop. The good cooking the good Max House coffee. She moved away. Some told me she moved to Memphis and some to Leland, but I found her. I'm 
come candy man Candy man When they do the shooting, why they wouldn't hit each other if they had to shoot them. And there's one guy, he had a big 45 plane down beside him. Pretty rough going, fella. When Stagland and him got down in there, they asked him, please. Hey, boys, they take a few shots in. Oh, just look at my lots of money in it. Yeah, you bet you're having a time. So it really would have happened before Stag him was walking. This guy picked up his 45 and said, that wouldn't make any bit of difference. Stag gun won't shoot a bit harder than this one. About that time he got knocked out of his hand. This is a bit of the line, that is the name. So Little guy pulled for his gun to make things all right. Stag's partner 
They took bullet right back to him and come up with his gun. So they got the money.
too late. Sunday night and got to go to work Monday morning. She will have the Monday morning blues. I've had them so bad, couldn't hardly find my Monday morning shoes. That's not recordings, I guess you call them. They're almost field recordings. That was recorded by an old friend of mine, Barry Berg. Barry Berg and Ed Jockey were the uh, young college students who helped me in, uh, I guess, in the 1960s, late 1960s, to uh, produce my show at WHAT-FM, and then they moved with me over to uh, WDAS-FM, also a small radio station in uh, the Fairmont Fairmont Park area. Anyway, that was Mississippi John Hurt recorded at the Central High School uh, concert put on by the Central High School Folk Music Club. Some of the people involved with that club are my uh, partner in my record label, Sliced Bread. That's Carl, Carl Apter, and who else was involved? Uh, Mary Berg recorded it. Uh, Danny Starobin from the band Sweet Staven Chain was a executive in the uh, folk club and I know the Jerry Ricks the great uh, guitar player who became famous as Philadelphia Jerry Ricks playing the blues all over Europe for many years he just passed away a couple years ago he was also at that, uh, that historic show 1966 I don't have the uh, the exact date I will get it though somehow and I'd like to thank David Kleiner for sending me that, that recording alright but uh, with that kind of recording you can't to have the uh, liberty of uh, hearing the applause all the way through. It just seemed to jump from one song to another. Mississippi John Hurt sounded wonderful. Pretty good recording for that year and also a good one 
good recording made for my students in a high school, you know, club. <laughs> <laughs>